The Ravens really needed a player um, that they can use in rotation on the defensive line, and they drafted Justin Matabike uh, in the third round. Um, Justin's got really, really powerful hands um, and a powerful punch off the ball, plays with good pa uh, pad level, uh, very consistent in that regard, and uh, very, very good effort. Um, he's versatile. They'll move him around lots and lots of three-tech, um, some shading on the nose on third down. Um, he's used a lot to, to knife uh, uh, gaps, and um, at this point, really not a, a two-gap kind of read and react player. It'd be interesting how the Ravens use him, but uh, I notice he's very difficult to move even with a double team. You'd like to see him become more uh, consistent, more effective getting off blocks. Uh, sometimes he'll get uh, locked up, and sometimes he struggles with length across from him. Justin should be part of the rotation this year, uh, three, getting uh, some snaps at three tech, and uh, they may even line him up over the nose uh, on third down. It's interesting to see he and uh, Daylon Mack reunited. Uh, I liked, really liked Mack last year. Um, the Ravens are making an effort here clearly to, to not be pushed around uh, on the defensive line. This is him at three tech, and uh, you can see a real good quickness off the ball there. And times the snap up really well. Also, uh, very good hands. See him get into half of the guard here. Uh, outside arm on the shoulder. Uh, inside arm right in his chest. Uh, he's just going to move this guy, overpower him. And I like how he finds the ball carrier. And he's able to work back and shed. Um, you'd like to see him probably extend more here too. But uh, he relies here on just kind of tossing the guy aside. Brute strength and he comes back and makes the play. Again, three tech here, they're sort of in a 3-3 three, three front. Um, and this is what he does. He gets up field, shoots this gap. This time he does a nice job really punching this guard as he opens up, just punching him uh, and extending. You can see his strength there, really just with that one arm underneath the uh, shoulder. And then gets his right arm to make sure he's clear. This is, that's just a really nice play against the run. Um, but you see how he's able to use the uh, blocker here. Just by overpowering him to really kind of get out on the edge. Uh, and then shed and find the ball. This is encouraging. Uh, this is him. Uh, two eye or maybe just a shade on the nose there on third down. They're going to shoot him right in the A-gap um, after the quarterback. But what I like in this play is that... Um, He's going to hold up against this double team here, and they get absolutely no movement. See him work to stay square uh, at the line of scrimmage here. You can see the linebackers running free, and um, uh, his team does not do, or a and does not do a very good job here out on the edge. So this back ends up bouncing it, but he is really holding up against this double team. Um, this guy, uh, this uh, center comes off eventually here uh, because those linebackers are flowing downhill. But you can see the back cut that out. So really, really nice job by him just holding up against that double team, taking up both blockers, I think. I think Matabike's um, quickness and his strength are going to make him a very effective st uh, stunt player. Um, you see him here kind of occupy uh, the guard and the tackle as the end drops. But really what I like here... Uh, is his effort. Watch him find the quarterback. Also, you see a real nice push-pull with his outside hand. See him yank down the, the tackle and then really continue to work with this little spin. That's him finding the quarterback. Ends up getting the sack here. Watch that again. We see him lined up at nose tackle here, so definitely some, some positional versatility uh, up and down the line. A nice wide step here to beat this would-be combination, and he splits the center and the guard. You can see the power as he gets into half the man here. He's able to pick him up and move him, gets his eyes on the quarterback. This is a designed uh, fake draw by the quarterback here, and we see an example of him being able to bring pressure from the interior. 
there's a lot to talk about on this this one play. I think the first thing, and uh, this is a very good thing that you'll notice, is he's really really hard to move off the line of scrimmage. Um, here we see him plays with good pad level off the ball here, able to jolt this this guard backward. Uh, the second thing you'll you'll see that you like is that he's got a really nice kind of push pull there. That's that's really his second job, second um, effort to get clear of this guard here. He really wants to lock him out and control him, but I think he struggles with length, at least on this play. But real powerful hands there getting in this gap. He's probably expecting some sort of fill downhill, and he does force the back to cut it out, uh, cut outside. Makes a big play down at the at the goal line here. Um, see him discard the center, and then turn into a uh, zone coverage, if you will, down at the line of scrimmage. I'm not sure who the quarterback's throwing this to, but finds himself picking the ball off, and then watch this hit on the quarterback there. Um, just tough physical guy, and uh, he lowers his shoulder to run run the uh, quarterback over. Pretty athletic too. This is an interesting rep to me because it's here he is lined up over the nose. It's very reminiscent of how uh, the Ravens bring pressure, I think. Um, you can see him get into the uh, center here with this bull rush and just really able to move him. Center's looking just a little bit in B-gap here. Uh, you can see him get that outside arm off. Keeps running his legs through this and he's able to shed. See him lined up as a shade of the nose here, works inside to the center, um, plays real under control here uh, on second and 16, uh, taking on this double team, finds the ball ca uh, carrier visually, watch him shed with his outside arm, again, just with brute strength, but he's, he's about finding the ball, ball carrier and getting in that gap here, 